That don't seem right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you could see in the previous clip, I'm having a little problem with JJ. It's been like that ever since I've owned him, but my clutch pedal uh, is not connected to the master cylinder for the clutch. So I'm gonna be replacing the clutch master cylinder and the slave cylinder, that the whole unit. I'm just gonna replace it in one fell swoop. What is messed up on my clutch pedal is this pin right here, the end of it right there. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of got a, a taper and then a bigger place on the end that snaps up into a hole. That end piece of my shaft is broken off. So it will not stay up in the clutch master cylinder, it just goes in and out. That's the problem. So anyway, I'm gonna be replacing the whole system today, the master and the slave cylinder, along with this new pin. The previous owners have come up with something on this piece right here that they modified that I actually agree with. They did a really good job on that and they do not use this plastic piece that snaps into this hole that holds it onto the clutch pedal because this plastic piece is prone to fail you can't get it anywhere i drew one up on a 3d printer and printed it it's too fragile it's not going to work so they've used a clipping pan off of a receiver hitch like on a truck and clipped it over the clutch pedal. I'll have to show you how they done it and it works great. I didn't know it was like that until I got to looking to see why my clutch pedal came in and out like that. And I saw what they had done and I'm gonna reuse their idea on that. Kudos to the previous owner on that one. So let me get to taking this thing apart and I'll, I'll take some pictures and show you exactly what they've done that I was actually pleased with. So guys, I don't know if you can see this. I'm hoping you can, but you can see the, uh, maybe you can see the little clip on this shaft I'm moving here the clip I'm talking about is right here on this they've used a uh, receiver hitch clip to clip over that shaft to hold the uh, master cylinder pin in place and man it works great and I'm gonna reuse that but I'm gonna get that clip out and see exactly what they have done. There's the clip I was talking about. And then the pin should just push straight off, just like that. So here's my, sh this shaft should not come out like this, but it did. So anyway, let me take this out and we're gonna examine it a little bit closer. So this is the pin that goes into my master cylinder. I was wrong, the end of it is not broken off. You can see this hole right here is no longer round. It's, it's oblong, it's worn on this end up here. Pretty bad. So this thing has been needing to be replaced for a long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and release the uh, two bolts on the inside of the firewall and then I'll get under the bottom release the two bolts on the slave cylinder and then it should be ready to come out it's really a simple fix So this end right here is loose and now all I gotta do is go down and release the bolts on the slave cylinder. There's the old one. Time to put the new one in. All right, I've got that seated back in there. I got to get inside the cab. 
put those two nuts on and then I'll climb under the bottom and do the uh, slave cylinder. So I realized after I got this thing bolted in that I had this line coming out the front and it's supposed to be going into the back to the firewall. So I'm proud I realized that now. So I got that swapped around. Let's get down under the bottom and get that connected down there. So this thing comes uh, with this uh, restraining system on it and I'm going to cut it off. That's going to shoot out. I don't know if it's going to try to come all the way out. My old one did let it fall out, but it just pops right back in. So I figure it's gonna try to, but I mean, I don't want this plastic in my way. So, I mean, it's, you can mash it. So all I'm gonna do is raise this up. Put it in the hole. All right, that's a lower one. So now let's go and put that pin and stuff back in. So I 3D printed me a bushing. I got to looking at the setup that they had using this pin right here, and they did have the uh, plastic bushing still up in here, even though the end of it was broken off that holds it into place. And I believe that will just keep it from rattling around. So I 3D printed me one. And this just sits right over the top of that. And that slides onto the clutch pedal. This clips onto the groove onto the shaft that's on the clutch pedal. And that will hold this in place permanently. I'm not gonna use the piece of plastic that came with this. I'm gonna save it in case I need it later. But uh, there's nothing here to fail. There's nothing here to fail. So that's what I like about this setup. And I was impressed that the previous owner came up with that because that's a really, really good idea. And you don't have to have this, you don't have to have this bushing. I just think that it might would jingle and rattle around, you know, if it didn't have this plastic bushing in there. That's why I 3D printed me one, but you could wrap it with electrical tape or, or anything, because I know most of you guys do not have a 3D printer. So let me get to putting this on, and I'll, I'll come back when I snap this in into the master cylinder. So I've got everything put back the way it was. Uh, like a dummy i thought i pressed the record button and i did not and so i was filming but i wasn't recording anything so i got this tied in so i've got the new pin put in with the uh keeper from the receiver hitch uh got everything put in and i've got this uh, rod connect it back to the master cylinder and I'm going to pull on the clutch now and you can hear it's connected so everything is good and so what I did is I put the rod into the master cylinder but I did not connect it I connected it to the clutch pedal and when I had it connected to the clutch pedal I used the clutch pedal to seat the rod into the master cylinder you just press it and it will uh, it'll pop into place and everything works good. So now I'm going to get up here and I'm going to test it out and make sure my clutch does still work. All right. Everything is working just like it should. And my clutch pedal is locked into place. Everything's working good. Well, guys, I'm hot. It's this typical Mississippi sweltering heat. Uh, anything you do outside is going to bring on the sweat. If you're a sweating type person, I am a sweating type person. 
anyway this quick fix just gonna bring y'all along on it today it's not anything that was needed to be done it was just annoying to have my clutch pedal dangling back and forth like it and i really hate that i forgot to cut the camera on when i was recording uh me assembling the, the rod and stuff and it's self-explanatory you don't need me for that but i was just really wanted to capture that and i realized that i had already got it assembled and didn't have any video footage of it y'all as normal i will have this uh, link to these products in the description and i will pin it in the top comment for easy finding and if y'all want to click on those links it's a good way to support my channel i do get a small commission if you purchase anything through the links and it does not cost you anything more but it does support my channel and i appreciate y'all looking y'all come back next time we'll see what we got going in